Why I love these kind of modules? Because they are cheap, useful and practical in electronics. That's why. And what kind of module is this one? It's a DC-DC LM2596S DC-to-DC buck step-down module that works from 4 volts to 40 volts DC voltage and can be adjusted for output voltage from 1.25 to 37 volts adjustable voltage regulated with a LED voltmeter power supply. I found it very cool, so that's why I ordered it and of course I got it. Bubbles, no. And yes, I'm gonna use my turntable so you can see the product in every angle. Take a look at that. So let's see what he says. The maximum output current can be as high as 3 amperes and the normal stable operating current is 2 amperes. Using an internal oscillation frequency of 150 kilohertz and one of the button is on the right to switch between measuring the input or output voltage. Beautiful. So let me explain. We have two connectors. One of them from the left side is connector for voltage in or DC input and the other connector is for DC output voltage that will be adjusted. You can adjust the vol voltage using this blue thing called multi-turn potentiometer and also we have a LED voltmeter with two buttons and two LEDs that will indicate for input or output voltage and using those buttons you're gonna see the input or the output voltage on the display. By the way, this printed circuit board looks awesome. And while we are at the printed circuit board, the sponsor of today's video is JLC PCB, which makes and produces this kind of quality printed circuit boards. JLC PCB, the reliable global leader in PCB manufacturing and assembly. From prototypes to full-scale production, JLC PCB delivers top-quality boards with precision speed and unbeatable prices. Enjoy advanced options like multicolor PCBs, stencil services and assembly all in one place. Register today to get $70 in coupons, plus save $7 on your multicolor PCB order. Trusted by millions of engineers worldwide, JLCPCB.com makes innovation faster, easier and more reliable than ever. Start your project with confidence today. Ok, let's proceed to the video review of this gadget or this module that is DC to DC booster. And first, oh, and first I'm gonna hook up the input wires. I'm gonna power up in three, two, one. Okay. So, using these two buttons, you can power off or power on the, the module. In the same time, we have this, this beautiful green LED indicates that we have DC input and with other button you can select the input voltage that I'm sending right now it's 7 volts and the output voltage you can see that with these LEDs indicating out and when I press in oh I forgot I need to put this so you can see better all right 7 volts and using the multi-turn potentiometer you can adjust the voltage just, just to grab a screwdriver I'm gonna go on out 6.4 it says I'm gonna rotate ok 
Okay. Take a look. Now I can adjust the voltage. Let's go to how much? 1.3 volts. This is output. When you press it, you can see the input voltage 7 volts, the output voltage 1.3 volts. Beautiful. Now let's increase the input voltage and hook up some load. I forgot before I connect the load. Let's see. Oh. The voltage output is it same is it same with my multimeter? And on the DC DC converter says 1.3 volts, on the multimeter 1.27, which is good. Let's increase to how much? Let's go to let's say to 9 volts. Exactly. Come on, come on, come on. 9 volts. Take a look at that. 9 volts on the DC converter, 9 volts on my multimeter. And the input voltage is 16.5 volts DC input and I adjusted the voltage to 9 volts. This is good and it's working great. As I said, with this button you can power off, power on and we have 16.5 volt input voltage, the output voltage is 12.1. I'm gonna hook up this car bulb that is pulling around 1.6 amperes and let's see what will happen. Oh, and take a look, the voltage stays stay at 12 volts, which is good. Let's hook up the multimeter and see how much current is pulling. Is this thing good? As they said, it will deliver 2 amperes. Okay. Okay, let's hook up the bulb and take a look. It's pulling 1.78 amperes and the voltage stay, stay at 12 volts and in the same time you can, you can adjust the voltage and take a look works great beautiful now I have 10 volts output the input 16.4 beautiful is it hot? not really beautiful beautiful I didn't mention sorry this module comes with overheating protection and short circuit protection function all right, that is good. Let's try it. I'm gonna make a short and take a look. Nothing happens. The input voltage is 16.5 volts. I'm making a short with the wires. The output voltage is 0 0.1. When I'm release, it's going back to the set voltage. Nice. This module is very, very, very good. And if you want to search it online, the model is HW319B, version 7, it says. Okay, I hope you like today video presentation of this DC to DC module that can handle 2 amperes and you can adjust the voltage from 1.2 volts to 30 volts. Okay, that was all for today video, please give a like share and subscribe to my channel see ya i love this gadget turntable solar thing